Tunisians call it their country's cancer. Corruption infiltrates every aspect of their lives, from big business to small daily chores. Look, in Tunisia now, there are chaotic price rises. The reality is that ordinary people with limited incomes are getting poorer and they're being forced to use underground markets, and that's a problem. Those underground markets now make up an estimated 50% of Tunisia's economy. Everything from electrical goods to fuel and food are smuggled into the country illegally and then bought and sold off the books. This means that there's a really large amount of money that's just not available for the Tunisian government. They can't spend it on services, they can't provide for the people, because this money is not going through the taxation system. Widespread corruption was one factor that led to Tunisia's 2011 revolution, but independent surveys have found Tunisians consider the situation worse now. Under the old regime, corruption was concentrated at the top, but since then, it's filtered down to every level of society. People were used to paying bribes, they were used to engaging in nepotism, they were used to these sorts of practices that were there for 30, 40 years. That doesn't just automatically go away overnight when the revolution happens. Locals agree. Corruption exists. We can't deny that. Because if you go to a government administration office, if you pay a bribe, you'll get it done. Otherwise, you'll wait. It's routine. We feel like there have been no improvements. And bribery, yes, it exists. Tunisia's independent anti-corruption agency estimates the practice is costing the country more than $900 million a year. It feels like there are some powerful people who are resisting change and aren't supporting the fight against corruption. The Prime Minister has announced a war against corruption, but so far this war hasn't started yet, or it's taken just the first baby steps. The government's campaign includes the recent introduction of whistleblower protection laws, making it safer for people to report illegal activity. But even these lawmakers in Tunisia's parliament know that the fight against corruption will take much more than just reforming legislation. Real change must come from the ground up. The change requires another generation, a generation that understands that fighting corruption should be as natural as breathing. But until that day comes, Tunisians will have to endure the suffocating effects of corruption on their economy and daily lives. Melinda Nusifora, TRT World, Tunis.